So what is a central bank? Central bank is an apex bank of monetary and banking structure of a country. It is, you can say, the head of all the banks, of all the commercial banks, scheduled, non-scheduled, private, public, all the banks. It is the head of all the banks and it is called the central bank. It is the central bank. In our case, it is the RBI, which works in unison with the finance ministry to regulate the economy of a country with the help of the commercial banks that are under it. So it is an apex bank with the main functions of regulation of currency, the amount of currency that is in circulation, uh, the demand deposits and all, it looks after the regulation of the currency. Then it also performs general banking, how the banks are performing their general banking functions, whether they are not defaulting, they are performing there, how are they functioning, all that control is under the hand, in the hands of RBI. Then it also has the custody of cash reserves. The banks, the commercial banks have to maintain some reserves. They, out of the total deposits that they have, they keep certain reserves with themselves. They keep certain reserves with the RBI. So RBI has the custody of the cash reserves of the commercial banks. Then it also gives loans to commercial banks whenever they need it in times of need. Clearance arrangements among bank, among banks, all the functions that the banks do amongst themselves, all those clearance arrangements are done by RBI. And most important, it controls credit. During inflationary or deflationary conditions, it controls credit. If there is inflation, it controls credit. If there is deflation, it puts in more credit in the hands of the banks, Then in turn, which in turn leads to more money in the hands of public. So it controls credit. And along with this, Another important function that is does is that it has a control over all our foreign reserve. All our foreign reserves are in the hands of RBI. So these are the functions of the central bank.